Point is our new smart terminal your customers will love. In this video, we'll show you how to set up the terminal and go over some basic functions. First, you need to charge your new device. Take a power cable from the box and plug the terminal into the power outlet. You can also charge point using a mini USB cable, but it might take a little longer to fully charge the terminal. Once the device is fully charged, you will see a green light at the top right corner of the terminal. To power on the device, press and hold the power button located underneath the terminal. You need to connect your terminal to Wi-Fi. Swipe down the screen twice to access the menu. Tap on Wi-Fi and select your network. Enter the password and tap Join. You are now connected to Wi-Fi. Point is an Android-based device with various applications. Let's start with the Terminal menu. Tap on the Terminal icon on the screen. To process a sale, make sure that the Sale option is selected. Enter the amount and select your customer's preferred method of payment. For cash, simply enter the amount and tap cash. The screen will show the sale amount and ask to enter the cash amount received from the customer. Enter the amount manually or select one of the preset options and tap complete. The terminal will display the change amount due. To process a debit or credit card transaction, enter the amount and tap Debit Credit. Here you can pick one of the options from the drop-down menu. Debit, Credit, Manual Entry or Multi-Tender. To process a basic debit or credit card transaction, enter the amount, select Debit or Credit and have your customer insert the card and enter their PIN or simply tap the card to finalize the transaction. If the customer wishes to pay for their purchase with a few different payment methods, select a multi-tender option. Enter the amount and tap Debit Credit. From the drop-down menu, select Multi-Tender. Tap Plus Add Tender to split the amount into multiple parts. The terminal will automatically split the total amount in half. Tap on one of these parts to enter the correct amounts. Your customer can now use two different payment methods to pay for their purchase. If you need to key in the credit card number manually, you can do it by selecting the manual entry option as a method of payment. Once the sale is complete, the terminal will offer the customer a few ways to receive their receipt. They can choose no receipt, paper receipt, email, or text. Most customers prefer getting paperless receipts because it's the best way to ensure they don't lose them. If you need to process a refund, select a non-ref refund option. Enter the amount, tap refund, and let the customer insert or tap the card to complete the transaction. Notes is a great feature that you can use to track your loyal customers and their purchases. Once you've entered the amount and selected the method of payment, you can add a note to a transaction you're about to process. If you need to void a transaction from the same day before you close the batch, simply tap Transactions, select a transaction in question, tap Void, and tap Yes. In the Transactions menu, you can see the list of your card and cash transactions. Tap on any of the transactions on the list to access the details, including a copy of the receipt and notes. From there, you can resend the customer's copy of the receipt by email or text. In the Settlement menu, you can close the batch, view transactions, look at your batch history, and check reports. To close the batch, tap Settle and Settle Open Batch. To access payment settings on your terminal, simply swipe down on the screen twice. Tap Settings and then Business Settings. From there, you can enable Invoice ID, add tips, modify your receipt settings and more. To set up tips, select Enable Tips. 
pick custom tips or percentage and modify preset values. Catalog is a great feature to have. Here you can add products and services your business offers and be able to track the items you sell. From the main screen, tap Catalog. From here, you can add products to the existing category or create a brand new one. In the Products tab, you can see different products you have already added and look up a specific product on the list. To catalog a new product, tap the plus sign and then tap Create New. Here, you can enter the product's name, price, and a scannable barcode, if applicable. Next, you can assign an icon, add modifiers such as small or medium, red or blue, etc., and assign applicable taxes. Click Save once you are done and you will see the product added to the chosen category. Register is another great function where you can keep track of sold inventory and tie each order to a specific cash or card transaction. To add products to the order, simply tap on each of the products you wish to add. Here, you can also add a discount, apply a coupon, and more. You can also add a custom item if the product you are looking for is not listed in the catalog. You could process the order right away or save it to be processed at another time. To access saved orders, tap on the three lines in the top left corner of the register and tap Orders. Tap on the order in question to edit, process, or delete it. If you chose to set up scannable barcodes for your products, you can use a scanner on the main screen of the terminal to add the items to the order. From the register, tap three dots to access additional functions. From here, tap Scan Barcode and scan the item. Adding notes to the orders is very convenient. For example, you can remind yourself that this specific order needs extra cream in their coffee and so on. There are multiple third-party applications available in the Apps menu. Make sure to take a look to see which ones would benefit your business model. The Help menu is available right on the terminal should you need to look up information or require assistance.